Hey guys, EBP Man here, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at a 7-in-1 USB-C Smart HD Display Dock. This is from DockCase, and this is going to be compatible with your Samsung phones, Samsung tablets, iPads, MacBook Pros, literally any device that has a USB-C device connection option will be able to connect to this and expand all your device's capabilities. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, I have owned and I use every day a USB-C hub of some sort in my daily workflow here on the channel. I connect uh, a hub to my iPad, I connect it to my MacBook Pro, I connect it to my Windows devices. I use it on my smartphones, I use it to connect my smartphones to larger displays. But what I've never had is a solution like this that has so much information about the devices that are connected and something that supports the kind of speed that we're talking about. So this solution from DockCase, uh, not only does it give you the ability to connect a variety of devices, but it gives you a really rich information panel. So it's going to tell you every device that's connected. It's going to give you charging rate information. It's going to give you if you have memory sticks connected to it. All that information is going to be present, but it has a lot of other features. First of all, we talked about device identification. We it also gives you real time temperature. It has a 100 watt PD capability for charging. So that's uh, stupendous. USB 3.0, right? Uh, it also is going to give you, again, the ability to transfer data, right? It's coming from this reader to your devices or from your devices at an accelerated rate. But let's go ahead and check it out. Now the hub is extremely small and it has several features that I just want to highlight first of all. So you have your uh, PD connection here, right? So this is going to be your power connection. You have the ability to display a 4K image and this is 4K 60 or 30. You have your USB connections. On the side here you have nothing and as we flip this over you'll notice that you have two memory card slots that you'll be able to transfer to or from any of your smart devices. Another uh, USB and on the side you have your USB-C connector which will con you'll connect to your device. On the very bottom it does have some little rubberized feet so when you put it in place you know it's going to stay in place. Now they've included um, this uh, I this charging cable or pass-through cable. Uh, this is what I use to connect to my smartphones, to my tablet, or to any device that I'm going to be connecting this to. And one of the things that we'll highlight, first of all, is that this has 10 gigabit throughput. 10 gigabit, right? It also has 100, and we'll flip this over so you can see it right here, 100 watt power delivery capabilities. So if you have a power brick, uh, a solution that's going to provide a lot of charging capacity, you're going to be able to charge at the fastest, most powerful rate possible with this specific cable. Um, you're going to be able to transfer as fast as possible and you'll be able to charge as fast as possible. And we'll take a look at what this cable looks like right here so you can see. Uh, this is a really cool version of this cable that is completely, uh, I would say, without the wrapper on it. So you can see what's going on here. Really tiny, right? Um, I would say miniaturized type um, overall implementation that's going to give you really fast throughput when it comes to information moving it back and forth from the hub to your device. I just wanted to show you the startup process and the startup process has the ability to be customized to have your name, a special greeting, or just have the standard um, startup. I just want to show you how mine is configured. I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and let's watch the startup process. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now it's connected, right? So you have the logo. And then all of a sudden you have my name. Hello, EBP man. Have a great day. And uh, here's all the information that you're starting to see here. So you see that I'm connected. And as I start connecting more devices to it, it's basically showing me all my ports. And as I continue to connect every single device to each one of the available ports, it's going to give me this information. Now, it's going to vary from device to device, right? So you'll be able to see if you're connected or not, if you have a solid connection or not. You'll be able to see um, if you're, what type of activity is taking place. So the big thing here is, is not only the fact that you're connected, but it also gives you information about your charging rate. So let me show you how this is going to work. I'm going to go ahead and plug this cable in here. Uh, to the charging port. And now that I've char connected it, now notice, now it's giving me information about charging capabilities. So it's again, not only telling me that it was connected to a device that could support uh, PD uh, type uh, technology, but now it's telling me that it's also charging. And as soon as you start connecting more and more devices, you'll continue to get more information. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the 64 gig um, SD card and we're just gonna put it right over here. And watch what's gonna happen on the display. We'll put this in an angle again, and we're gonna push it in. And now all of a sudden it says, hey, you have a SD card um, inserted and it's ready uh, for you. So I can use this to transfer information from my phone to the card or I can use it to transfer information from my iPad to the card or vice versa. And again, and as you connect every single device or additional devices, it continues to tell you what's going on.
Now the next thing I wanted to show you what the transfer rate looks like uh, given that you have a high speed cable and the device itself is really designed for speed. So what I'm going to do is go into the USB storage right here. I'm going to go into DCIM. I'm going to go into the Canon. So this is going to be some 4K footage that I've chosen for the channel. This is a, a green screen that I had done. I'm going to choose copy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out and I'm going to go into the internal storage. So now that I'm in the internal storage, I went into the download directory and I'm going to say copy here. All right, so this is a 1.5, it's almost a 1.7 gig file that's being transferred. Now, keep in mind that there's a couple things that are going to determine what your transfer rate speed is. Uh, it's going to be the device, it's going to be the card itself, right? But what you have is a high speed cable, right, that's giving you the fastest possible speed based on the device that you are working with. So just a couple seconds, you'll notice that I've gotten 97, 98, 100%. So that was 1.78. Uh, gig in a matter of seconds. Now the next feature we're going to highlight is its 4K output capability. Now as I mentioned this will support any device, MacBook, iPad, Android, Windows device and in this case I am running a Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 and it supports DeX. So what you see is my LG ultra wide screen. I have a Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 in front of it and if I bring the dock case into focus, let's go ahead and bring this over here so that you guys can see it and we'll kind of get in focus there. You can see that it is outputting from my Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 onto this screen that we're seeing here. And I'll go ahead and move the mouse so you can see uh, what's going on so you can see that that movement is coming uh, from the actual Tab S7. So great output, great flexibility, and again, all in one intelligent adapter. So guys, that was our review of the Donkey Case 7-in-1 USB-C Smart HD Display Dock. See you in the next one.